Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. Happy Monday. Today is August 16th, and I just got to school. It's about 6.50-ish, um, and of course, I have more crap to bring in. Um, we are starting our unit of erosion, and so I have things. <laughs> things. Um, because, you know, I got to do everything extra around here. So I'm bringing in all of these little things for my labs today. It's not really labs. They're more just like little observation stations. Ooh, that's what I should call them. Observation station. I kind of like that. Because the purpose of them is to provide the students with a way to explore erosion and weathering without me telling them what it is. <laughs> So, um, I will put all this stuff away and then I will explain to you guys what our day is going to look like. Okay, you guys, so I have my stations, my observation stations all set up and I'm just going to walk you guys through kind of like each station and then I'll bring you back over and show you guys the lesson um, or at least what we're doing today. So, today observation station number one now keep in mind I got all of these station ideas from generation genius I love using generation genius as like a springboard to my science lessons because they always have some sort of like explore activity in a station and I love to use the five E's for my science lessons so today we'll be engaging and exploring tomorrow will be explain um, Wednesday will be elaborate and then Thursday We'll do a little bit more elaboration than Friday. I'll evaluate and see where we're at at this point. So anyway, the first station is called, um, well, I guess it doesn't have a name. Um, so the directions say to press down gently on the sugar cubes using your hands. Notebook task. Write down your observations. What happened to the sugar cubes? So essentially the kids are going to be breaking them up by a force, which is their hand, to kind of simulate um, rocks crushing rocks and weathering them down. So this is supposed to simulate weathering. And then I always put a little note there, reset the station. Place a new sugar cube into the Ziploc bag and toss the crumbs into the trash. So I have my students resetting the stations for me because essentially what I do is I pull three tables at a time. So I'll do tables one through three. They'll come back and do their stations first. I'll do quick little six minute rotations. They get one minute to do the lab and then they get five minutes to write their observations down. Anyway, um, so I'll pull those three groups first. The other kids will be working on reading a story and a, a picture book that is related to erosion itself. So, and I'll show you guys which picture book I have the kids doing, but this is station number one. And then I have extra supplies back there if they need it. Station number two is over here, and this is exactly why I have these tables, y'all. I know I haven't really talked about them, but this is exactly what they're for. They're for stations. Uh, station number two is an erosion simulation. So they're going to lightly pour the water over the top of the slope. As you can see, I've created a nice little slope, slope here. Observe what happens to the soil. Write down their observations, what happened to the soil. So I want them to tell me that the soil moved from the top of the tray to the bottom of the tray, or maybe the, maybe the water pushed the soil down. Something along the lines of the soil moving. Um, and then again, reset the station. Rebuild the slope by adding soil and soaking up any water left in the tub. Wash your hands. So I'll have paper towels here in case they make a watery mess. And then I have buckets full of soil for them to just kind of rebuild um, the slope and it's okay if it rebuilds down here as long as this space is empty and they're able to see the soil moving. So then I brought a couple of watering cans from home. These are just like this one's cash's, this one's mine um, and they'll just use these to lightly pour at the top. And then station number three this one says to lightly sand down the rock for about 10 seconds over the black paper. Observe what happens. Write down your observations, what happened to the calcite. So the, the rock that I have today is calcite. And I actually got this from my science resource room. I know I haven't shown you guys on the vlog, but I showed Instagram and if you guys saw, it's pretty crazy. I am gonna probably go down there in the next couple days. So I will show you guys that room, but essentially they just take the sandpaper, they sand down the calcite and the black paper really helps to see the sediment that falls off. And so the, again, this is really simulating like wind erosion, wind, we wind weathering. Um, 
and then all they do to reset is dust all the sediment off and reset the items. Now I could add something to this and have them blowing the sediment around with a straw, but that's actually gonna be part of my elaborate station day. So I'm actually gonna do stations again on Wednesday for elaboration where they're gonna actually get to um, simulate what they know now. So now that they know more about erosion, they'll be able to simulate a little bit better and have a better understanding. So today is just to explore before I introduce any information at all. So um, I will show you guys what we're gonna do before stations. Okay, so I'm gonna really quickly just walk you guys through my lesson for today and show you that text I was talking about. So, I'm gonna just turn you guys around and present this. Okay, so what I like to do is make a whole week of a, like one giant slideshow for the week. That way, if I ever have a class that gets behind or something, I can just mark which slide we left off on and then we can play catch up later. So I don't have five different slides, one for each day. I just keep one slide for the whole week. And then that way, if a kid's absent, I can literally just share one slideshow with them and they're gonna get everything that they need. So um, I always start with an essential question. I also need to go to duty. Um, how do Earth's forces and processes shape the Earth's surface? So I'm going to actually define Earth's forces and processes today. And then I always put the learning target for the whole standard. So this standard is I can make observations and or measurements to provide evidence of the effects of weathering or the rate of erosion by water, ice, wind, or vegetation. Then I have the kids do a see, think, wonder. This goes in their notebooks. Um, and I'll just let you guys pause right here to see what that says. And then I start asking them questions um, and defining the word process. And then I just kind of go through and explain what a process is. Um, it's a series of steps or actions that produce an end result. And then I give two explanations, like two examples, and then they have a discussion about other processes that they can think of. And then I tell them that there are processes in our environment that cause change of the Earth's surface, and that one of those processes is called weathering. And I don't actually define what weathering is, um, and then I talk about how humans can do that too. And then we explore, we're going to explore them in stations. So then uh, we go over station expectations, um, the learning target, and then we actually go through the stations. And then I actually have the kids discussing what happened at the station. So they'll, we'll do like a think pair share um, for all three stations. And then Epic Reading, if we finish that early, everybody will jump back on Epic and we are reading How Hugh Bennett Saved America's Soil and Ended the Dust Bowl. So this is just a short story, a picture book on something related to erosion. So rather than having them go and read like an informative text about erosion, I'm just having them read something that's related to erosion because Tomorrow is when I'm going to explain what erosion is and teach them the vocabulary and the actual process, what happens during each process. And I use that during uh, using doodle notes. So our essential question, the question that I want you to be able to answer by the time we're done with this, let's read it together. Ready? One, two, three. How do Earth's forces and processes shape the Earth's surface? Okay, a couple of big words that you may not know the meaning of, a couple you may know the meaning of, and we're gonna get through there. So our learning target, our objective, I can make observations and or measurements to provide evidence of the effects of weathering or the rate of erosion by water, ice, wind, or vegetation. A lot of those words you have no idea what they mean, yet. We will explore all of those words this week. Today I want you to focus mostly on I can make observations, okay? We're gonna make observations so that we can learn what weathering and erosion mean, okay? I'm not gonna teach it to you today. You're gonna explore it on your own. Here's our see, think, wonder. Just like before, we have a three, two, one rule. Today you'll write three things that you see in the picture. You will write down two things that you think about it or it could be what, how you think it's happened or why it's the way it is. And then one question that you have about the picture, okay? So for just a few minutes, 
make some observations. The only sense we can use today is our sight, right? We can't smell that, we can't touch it, we can't taste it, right? But you'll be able to touch some other things today. So for now, just use your eyes. What three things do you see? We're not talking about it, we're not gonna share yet. We're gonna get through the whole See, Think, Wonder by ourselves first, then we'll have a chance to share with our team. So right now, I just want you to focus on the things that you're observing in the picture. Things you see with your eyes. Not what you think is happening, not what you think you know, just the things that you see. If you're ready and comfortable, move on to your think step. What do you think about this? Do you think you know how it happened? Do you think you know why it happened? Or what's going on and then of course if you're just dying to ask those questions go ahead and put your questions down it was you did somebody make it it was my mama <laughs> hopefully give you guys a minute or two to share in just a few minutes once everybody's done thinking and wondering remember scientists are always questioning you are a scientist right now Bill Nye the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill. All right. I want to give you and your table mates a few minutes to share your ideas and your thoughts. That means that everyone at the table should share at least one thing. If you're a person who's struggling to think on their own, this is your moment to listen to your teammates as they contribute to the discussion. Okay? If they say something that maybe you didn't think of before, but you've thought about it now that you've heard it, you may add it to your list, okay? I'll give you guys a few minutes to talk in your table teams. So they can have more than like mm -hmm. Yep, so that it can get you thinking about things that maybe you didn't think of before. It's a great way to share. All right, ready, set, talk. move on. Have you seen anything like this before? No. no. Anybody seen it? No. It may not be a tree growing out of a rock, but maybe a plant growing out of a sidewalk. Maybe. Love that question, Joel. I don't know how, but I saw it. Okay. Guess what, my friends? It's because of an earth process. No person did this. Sorry, your mama did not do this. <laughs> your mother Earth did it. Oh. Wrong mother. Three, a process is a series of steps or actions that produce an end result. All right, that's one of your vocab words. It's the first one on the list. For example, making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Think about it. If you don't take certain steps, there ain't no peanut butter and jelly sandwich, okay? Think about the steps. Talk them through with your tables. Talk them through with your tables. I make a pizza. Well, what if you don't? You gotta dip it in there first. You gotta dip the knife in. Then you smear it on there, right? time for that. Yeah. Then you gotta take your knife, open up your peanut butter, open up your jelly, get it in there, what? smear it on each piece of bread, uh -huh. and then what do you do? You take each piece, and you slap it, it together. That's a process. If you don't put the peanut butter on the piece of bread and you put it together, that's not a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's, it's, a peanut peanut it's just a jelly sandwich. That's no. a peanut butter sandwich. Right? If you don't put them together, it's peanut butter toast. No. Yeah, it ain't a sandwich if it's not put together. It's a process. Every process has different steps that take place in order for you to get the end result. Just like brushing your teeth. We're gonna act out the process of brushing our teeth. Okay. We're gonna be mimes today. 
Wait, what do I use to brush my teeth like? Okay, we're gonna mime it, which means we're all gonna do it silently. Ready? Everybody mime how you brush your teeth. I'm not sure I hit. Now I'm gonna floss. There's a process that goes with that. Just your hands. Let me see what, how you're doing. My back ripped. Does it hurt? Yeah, be careful. Maybe put your notebook on top. Oh. On top of it. Oh, there's a, there's a... Okay, so yeah, look. What happened? It went into crumbs. It went oh. into crumbs? It turned into crumbs. Turned Whoa. into crumbs? Oh. Okay, perfect oh. job, Max. Uh, uh, so what happened to it? It's okay. It's gonna get messy. <laughs> What happened to it? It disintegrated. No, disintegrated. You don't want to play. Do this. Okay. All right. Have you guys started putting water on it? Yeah. We do. Okay. Pour a little bit more. I think that's good. Is it good? Okay. So look over here. What's happening over here? Water. Water the bottle, what? Bottle is falling down. The water is soaking it. So some of it is soaking in, but some of it is doing what? What's happening to the soil, not the water? The soil it's is wet. It's getting wet. What's happening here? It's getting mushy. It's getting mushy. And it's spilling. It's spilling. Look at there's soil down here now. How to get there? Water. 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 What did the water do to it? The water made it wet, made it, so it, it made it. Oof. The water made it wet, so and it soaked kind of through, and mm -hmm. the rest like just spilled. It spilled. Pour so it the water here. pulled it down the slope, right? Okay. You Write that down, down in your observations. Write it in your observations. Listening to your rocks. Um, it's getting smoother. It's getting what? Smooth. It's getting smoother. The rock's getting smoother. What else? It's um, getting like a little like it's, like it's getting what? Like a little powdery. It's getting powdery, so powder's falling down. It's kind of like turning into dust. Turning into dust? Okay, it's great no. observation. It's no. Good particle. observation. It's no. Look at that. Okay. I am so sweaty. 
Um, okay, so it's the end of the day, and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, but as you guys saw, we were doing our See Think Wonders, and we talked about processes and forces. Obviously, I turned the lesson off after a while. Um, but I wanted to thank you guys for being here, for watching today. And if you're not already, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And of course, follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!